what I would want to say any, to anybody who got, is called um, to the Quito Ecuador mission, um, be it the Ecuador nor or Quito North or Quito South, um, is uh, first off, you are called to where you need to be. Um, I most definitely learned that on my mission. Um, that every missionary is going to say that their mission is the best in the whole wide world. And one, that's true. Um, but not in the sense of one mission is better than another, but because your mission is for you. And, um, and really you gotta, you gotta take all that you can. Um, don't, don't miss an opportunity. Um, the Lord has people prepared and the people of Ecuador <laughs> are amazing. Um, they're very humble and very, very, very warm and welcoming. Um, and the mission's not about baptisms. The mission's not about numbers. There's times where that might come in and you might think that that's the case, but, but truthfully, that's not the point of the mission. Um, don't, the, the point of the mission is, is exactly what the missionary purpose is, and that is to bring others unto Christ. And yes, continuing that, it, it goes through the process of the gospel, but the key element of the purpose of your mission is to bring others unto Christ. And um, you... You have been called to a very special place, um, in my opinion, <laughs> and um, the mission. The mission will change you. Um, you have every right to be kind of nervous, kind of scared, kind of anxious, um, whatever other feelings might be coming through your mind. Um, excited. Um, I remember I was really excited, um, but. I do know that the Lord loves each and every one of us, and He knows us perfectly. Um, he knows us individually, and He knows the people to whom we need to be, to associate with, and to become, come in contact with, um, that your companions, the, the other missionaries in the mission field, um, your mission president, his wife, um, any of the senior couples, um, they're all going to be influential, but even more so, um, you will be changed. The mission changes you. Um, and the conversion process, as important as it is for, for those that you teach and those that you come in contact with, um, the conversion process is even more important for you. And um, my, my mission scripture um, was Alma 9.29. And um, to summarize it, I don't have it completely memorized, but to summarize it, um, paraphrase it, is to, that to not glory in, in the glory goes to God and the glory and the gratitude to be an instrument in his hands um, to bring in order to bring be it one person um, unto unto Christ and there were many times in my mission that I felt like that one person was myself however as I brought myself and as I came closer to Christ, it was inevitable that I was going to bring others unto Christ. And um, it was inevitable that a change um, was going to happen. And um, we, we are people of habit. <laughs> and um, my, my advice, my, my message to you would probably be, be the best you can be now and put the Lord first in all your doings. And I've had many people tell me throughout my life um, that that the MTC is a training grounds for your mission and your mission is a training grounds for your life. And when I heard that before my mission, I probably was like, yeah, you're crazy. Um, however, I probably would have to say the same thing. Um, 
and the cliche that the mission is the best two years or for us sisters, the best 18 months of my life. Um, I honestly can say that that's true. Um, doesn't mean it's not hard. Um, doesn't mean that there won't be days you don't want to be there um, and you're ready to give it up. Um, but when those moments come, I guess the biggest, the biggest message, the biggest lesson that you can take from it is, um, one, you're not there for you. You're there for the Lord and you're, you're his mouthpiece. Um, and yes, we're not perfect people, but the gospel, um, the gospel is for everybody regardless. And, um, I would say make the most out of your mission. Um, and even in those hard times, try to look for the little bit of sunshine that will be there. Um, I, looking back, I can't, I sure I know about my bad times, but that's not what I focus on. I focus on the good things and the lessons that I learned from those tough times. Um, and be the best, like I said, be the best you can be. Um, be obedient, be humble, um, and remember that, that you're representing the Lord all the time and that people are always watching.